I think, um, you know, when, when I think about gaming, uh, the, some of the numbers I see is that 16% uh, of boys are, quote, addicted to gaming and addicted meaning it really interferes with the rest of their life. And, mm -hmm. and some 5 or 6% of women, girls are, are addicted to gaming. Um, I don't know. I don't know how accurate those numbers are. Uh, when I look at gaming, I see something that 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 uh, you know it was, was in my own kids. Was in me, right? I became addicted to gaming when it was bad, right? When it was text on a screen, right? Um, and then I had purpose with something. So with with my son, you know, I I started a business, and all of a sudden, the game that I wanted to play was the business, right? And I think the challenge that we're faced right now is that gaming is more engaging than school, much. right? Uh, much more engaging than school <laughs> and much more rewarding in their, in their immediate sense than school is. Uh, but I'll, I'll say what happened with my own son, right? I got him involved with volunteering, right? I got him involved with building a Pinewood Derby track for the, for the Cub Scouts. Mm -hmm. I got him involved with, with helping tutor other kids, and all of a sudden, he didn't have time for the gaming yeah. anymore, right? And I think, I, think, I think it's not an addiction to gaming as much as it is a deficit of purpose. And lots That's of right. times when the only thing you do is jam the schoolwork down, down kids' throats and it's, and it's meaningless and it, and it gets thrown away and, and, and it just comes with demotivating grades and what you've done wrong on it, right? And no accomplishments, nothing real, not really helping other people. It's not a surprise that they prefer gaming to that. 